guys welcome back to my youtube channel so we have a couple of msc 2022 updates and a few news so let's jump right into it msc 2022 update we know the teams lineup group draw now we have the location schedule and ticket prices so we all know that msc 2022 will be held at kuala lumpur malaysia so now we have the venue the location of the venue so msc 2022 will be held at my tech malaysia international trade and exhibition center For the ticket prices, MSC only sell ticket only for playoff day 2 until the grand finals. Just like M3, you have to pay for each matches. For MSC, each matches cost for the gold seed RM35 equivalent to 799 USD. Silver seed RM25 equivalent to $5.71. The grand final cost for the gold seed RM40 equivalent to $9.30 Silver seed RM30 equivalent to $6.85 So yeah, cheaper than M3 of course because this is Southeast Asia Cup M3 is World Championship So yeah, the schedule for the group stage First day matches for Group A and Group B Day 2 matches for Group C and Group D so yeah, again, good luck to all of the teams. So rumor has it Onik PH is going to be disbanded and leaving MPL PH. I'm not sure where this rumor came from. Maybe it's because Onik PH slowly releasing their talent, or Onik PH players, you know, tweeting, hinting about Onik PH players are going to separate. One of Onik PH players, Baloyski, tweeted that. There are just things we can't say, but soon you will also know why our tweets are like that. So, okay, let's just say Onik PH will be disbanded. Are they going to be replaced? Like Onik PH will buy a new lineup, like Omega Esports did before MPL PH Season 8. They released their players and they bought Execration lineup. So maybe Onik PH will do that or Onik PH maybe they will rebrand just like Aura PH rebrand to Echo but still under Aura. Who knows? Oh my Venus did react to this rumor and he said if this rumor is true he felt sorry for Onik PH players um, and hope that they will get a new team after this. So yeah and a lot of people said that Onik PH will be replaced by BTK. The five-man BTK at M3 will play at MPL PH Season 10, replacing Onik PH. So if you guys didn't know, all of BTK M3 players will be at the Philippines. I believe some of them are at Indonesia. I'm not sure whether they have arrived at the Philippines because I have seen some stories that they are stuck at Indonesia. Well, the reason why the five men BTK players go to the Philippines because they got invited by Filipino largest cell phone company to compete in Manila, Philippines. Posted by one of BTK players' mother, Chicken's mom. So I did some googling Filipino largest cell phone company and it came out globe telecom and then i search what brand of phone what brand of phone most people use in the philippines and it shows that a lot of people use a realme in the philippines second is oppo and so on so maybe realme invited btk to the philippines and also sponsoring them because Zane said that he didn't pay for his ticket to the Philippines the second time he did came the first time he paid for himself I don't know but there is one youtuber called Zekel um, he said that it's Samsung that invited them because Samsung sponsor MPLPH and MPLID and also Zane 
said that he loves to use Samsung for his personal use but he is still using iPhone for gaming. I mean maybe because Samsung used to have an esports teams called Samsung White, Samsung Blue, Samsung Galaxy. It's just a rebrand. It's big in Korea, League of Legends, win two world championship 2014 and 2017. So it could be Samsung. They want they want to try to have an esports team in the Mobile Legends esports scene. And if you if we want to be technical with it, Chicken's mom said Filipino largest phone company. Does she mean cell phone company that created by the Philippines? Like my phone, Cherry Mobile, Star Mobile? I don't know. Whatever, whoever invited BTK and sponsoring them. Good for BTK. I hope they have fun over there. But BTK playing in MPLPH season 10, is it possible? So based on the rules for MPLPH, this is the rule from MPLPH. They can be only two non-citizen players listed in the starting lineup for each team. So to have all five members of BTK in the same team in MPLPH is not possible. So yeah, maybe they can compete in local tournaments over there. You know, maybe Juicy Legends, um, you know, other than MPLPH, of course, if the rules doesn't have regional residency requirement, or maybe they, BTK members can get residency over there. I don't know. Either way, I hope that Onyx PH players, all of them have a new team to go after this, if the rumor is true. And for BTK, good luck, have fun at the Philippines. And I wish that they can come down to Malaysia to watch MSC 2022 together. So yeah. Transfer update, defender, former useful player back in M1, played for Unique Devu in M2, and Navi in M3. Well, now he has left Navi and joined a team called VSG, Victory Song gamers he said long story short i'm not part of navi anymore already for three months three plus month maybe i'll do explanation post in future but not now and i joined another team called vsg during the last week we were proving ourselves by competing in the merc tournament which basically had all the best cis and eu teams participating in it so yeah good for him that I don't know why he left Navi. One of VSG players, Mal, also used to play for Navi. Now joined Defender in VSG. So yeah, Navi MLBB is still around. Don't worry. Well, I hope that M4 they can still invite CIS region, even though we know what is going on over there, especially in Russia and Ukraine. So yeah, good luck to both of them. Well, that is all of the news. If you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't open your Mobile Legend, there is a MLBB X Transformer event right now. I think a lot of you guys know. Um, we have three new Transformer skin: Roger skin, Grimlock, Popol and Koopa skin, Soundwave, and Aldo skin, Star Scream. Yeah, we also have events like Scratch Card. The prize pool are transformer skins. Um, we have the draw. You can draw one time or ten times. And then there is the bingo. You have to connect three, you know, straight or diagonal lines. And then you can get a transformer skin. And then you can spend diamonds or recharge it to get transformer pass. Um, yeah, from that draw, you can also get special skin, epic skin. So yeah, there's, there is also an event called Battle for Energon. You can compete tasks to get Energon cubes and then you can claim rewards from it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay safe.